What's up? This is MF Grimm, and you're watching Distortions to Static. I'm an artist. I've been in the game for probably like anywhere from like about 20 years, basically. And I've um, done a lot of stuff. Mm, some of it you heard of, some you might never hear because mm -hmm. it didn't get far, but hopefully, you know, it'll get better. Cool, cool. Can you, I, I don't know how many albums you have out, but you think you give like a brief discography or like the uh, albums that... I don't have mm -hmm. that many albums out. I got um, three albums out. I do about three. Mm -hmm. um, but I've had several singles throughout my whole entire career from 1989, 1990. Came out first one. We put it out independently. We pressed it up ourselves, And... Um, sold a few thousand of them in the streets back then like probably like it was like at the time it was like three thousand we was happy mm -hmm. we sold three thousand yeah. units vinyl and stuff and since then did a bunch of singles with um Bobito from mm -hmm. Fondalum and also Stretch Armstrong of course they're both well known um with Dolo Records put them all out and just been independent ever since worked with Cool G Rap did a few things with him mm -hmm. um of course my crew, you know, um, Sean C, Nobody, um, Nomad, and 12 Nations, basically Fat Man School, Rock Raider, Rob Swift, we all came up together. Cool. So I've been in the game for a minute doing, cool. you name it. I've been on a lot of stuff. Large Professor, Main Source, rocked with them. Um, you name it, I don't yeah. too much. <laughs> so when did you start rhyming though? Like, when did you first get into MC? Mm. I think professionally, 14, I used to write. I was a writer for um, Geffen, Geffen Records mm -hmm. um, on the West Coast. I lived out, they flew me out to the West Coast and started writing for a bunch of people on um, Geffen. And I also wrote for Epic. I wrote for a few artists on Epic. So I say 14, I started ghostwriting. Before that, um, just in the streets, of course, battling and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, my DJ's Rock Raider. He's been my DJ, you know, coming up for like. 15 years yeah. or something, I don't know. Rock and um, that's how I got in. Just Ice, he he made me first. He was told me if I want to get in this game and I want to be an MC, you know, I got to spit. So he used to make me spit. Oh, okay. Just Ice, King Sun, um, King Sun. Let's see, Africa Bambada, of course. Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, you know, they used to bring me to the jam, Zulu Nation, that's cool. Sundance. They used to hold my hand. I was a little baby. In the <laughs> so I've been in it for a long time. That's cool, that's or cool. at least around it, you know, and cool. learning, still learning from it. Is there anyone, anyone uh, that we would know that you would that you ghost wrote for? Or can mm. you reveal that or you? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been around, you know. Okay. I've I've been around. Cool, cool. So, um, I asked everyone this: you, you have any opinion on like the, the hip hop scene right now, like uh, as what we see in the in the big. You know, TV, radio. Um, I don't know. It's hard because, you know, everyone sees it so different. So um, I think it's changing. I think it's, and for me, it's changing for the better. I don't right. know about for everyone else. Mm -hmm. But um, it seemed like, um, I guess, getting older and being in the game so long, you know, you, you, you make so many mistakes that you get to this point now where, um, it's not as hard for me right now. You know, I have friends that they've been in the game and they really, really had to learn how to do radio. They had to learn to do, um, uh, let's see, certain people went out the promotion field, advertisement, and now we're all at the point in the age of where we feel that we've kind of mastered our craft and mm -hmm. we're now, we're all to the point where we can help each other. So it's kind of now easy. Mm -hmm. It's starting to become easier. So mm -hmm. I think for me, it's getting better. Music's getting better. The music industry is getting better, but for a lot of people, I'm like, nah, it's just fucked up, it's collapsing. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that um, hip hop and the music, well, not just hip hop, just music, period, it's gonna always take care of itself. You know, for those who try to manipulate it and just make, just make it, just make money for it, it's it's gonna come back to the original source, the foundation of things, and then rebuild itself again. So. Um, yeah, I don't watch a lot of TV. It's funny. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very selective on what I watch. Um, I don't listen to a lot of radio because I don't really have the time to do that because running a company or a distribution company, my job is to be on the phones. So I'm on the phone like 20, 22 hours a day. I'm on the phone unless I'm around staff and you know we're talking or we're having meetings. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I'm on the phone. So I, I really 
I'm, I'm not too sure how bad it's doing, but um, you know, I just know that there's a lot of young young entrepreneurs coming up. I know there's a lot of talent coming up that regardless the way it is right now, they're gonna make sure that music change back to the way it should be. You know, cool. it's a lot of great ideas coming mm -hmm. that um, five years ago, or even 10 years ago, people would tell you it was impossible to do. Technology today, anything, you can do anything. So, not really. you know, mm, I feel that. keep up. Cool. So, so you're still independent, though, like your yes, own company. I, yes, we're we're an extremely independent okay. company. Was you any like would you ever, you know, get signed to a major or or anything like that, or what's what's your opinion on that? Um. My opinion, my my individual opinion. Uh, I don't trust my individual opinion. <laughs> so I would have to make that decision along with the rest of day by day entertainment. That, you know, such as Azar, Nomad. Jay, um, we have a staff, so you know that will be something, a staff decision. That's cool. You know, and um, right now I can't say. They, I know it would have to be a great offer mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. right now, we're so self-sufficient. Right. They're not needed. Yeah. So only thing they can offer is money. Right, right, right. Honestly. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Cool. So. Um, yeah, you've been through a lot in your life. Uh, with with all that you've been through, yeah. do you think that's helped you, like as an MC or as a as a businessman? Or, or I mean, do you think that's changed mm. you? Yeah, I I have to say, even everything I've been through, as long as you learn from it, yeah. So I, I made a lot of mistakes in life, you know, business wise, personal mistakes, and just period. And I I feel I learned from them, so. Yeah, it did make me a better person, a better MC, a better businessman, you know. Not mm. saying that's the way you got to be right. to become successful, because right. there's certain people that they never made a mistake in life. Mm -hmm. They did it right, and they got to where they needed to go. But mm -hmm. some, some of us were hard-headed, or we just, you know, adventurers, and we had to learn that way. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a, I got my master's in being a hard-head. Mm -hmm. you know, so.